Ja sam jedan od najmlađih tih vice prezidenta koji postoji u Švedskoj, znači još ispod 40 godina, radim već 15 godina sa investicijama. I'm really happy to see that uh, so many have uh, taken time to be with us here today. Uh, when you look at the issue as such, corporate social responsibility, it may not uh, seem as a particularly interesting subject, but it is, it is an important subject. It's um, something that um, the Swedish Embassy here in Serbia and the Swedish embassies around the world have been engaged in in a number of years because this is an issue that reflects some of the most important fundamental values that we all need to embrace and that we all need to support. It's about creating a sustainable society. It's about uh, fundamental rights it's about uh, human rights, it's about the support of our environment, it's about uh, the support for the fight against corruption, it's, a po it's about the support to building a society or the kind of so society where we all want to live. Meni je ogromna zadovoljstvo doći u Beograd i opasnati što više očenika i nastavnika koji su zainteresovani za korporativno društveni odgovornost. Da se vratim sada, da je Srbija pokrenula proces pristupanja EU, to mi uliva nadu, međutim, da moramo graditi zajedničku budućnost. Very much thank you to the university. Definition of CSR is very difficult for their impact on society. Companies do over and above to follow the law, especially I met it many times in Asia. As you can see, we have a couple of rules and, and uh, first of all, eligibility in other words who can join our competition um, students currently enrolled in a university program in Serbia are eligible for par participation and uh, what has to be done uh, based on the information you received and will receive today during the lecture you have to write an essay in English not more than two pages long on a topic of uh, your choice topic you uh, choose would indicate for which company you would like to intern. I'm really glad to be here today uh, and uh, present about uh, Ericsson's view in, on CSR. Uh, to the students of Belgrade University because uh, uh, some years ago I was also myself a student uh, actually of Electrical School of Engineering. I believe that some of you here are also from this faculty. I understand also economy and uh, phone, maybe some other universities also. Okay, so I believe that uh, my presentation today will be motivating for you to think a little bit different maybe about CSR, to maybe uh, implement CSR in your future work or uh, life. My name is Sasha Beslik. I'm working for a biggest Nordic bank. My origins are in Bosnia. I'm born and bred in Senica in central Bosnia. I came to Sweden for about 20 years ago. Um, I had a fantastic 
experience of getting the education in Sweden, starting to work in Sweden, it's a fantastic country. Still, you know, coming back to Balkans and to Serbia from time to time, I always long back to speak the language and to meet the people. I will tell you about how corporate social responsibility fits together with financial economy. and Why do we as the economists and financial people think this is important? To give you a background, I'm an investment banker. I work for a bank. I manage about 200 billion euros. Uh, we invest all over the world. And for us, CSR is about money. And it's about profits. But I will tell you a story how that fits together. And I'll ask you questions because you've been fairly passive. And I'll try to sort of shake you up with that. So uh, if we start with the first question, which I, I learned I shouldn't ask the audience, but I always do break rules, so I ask. If you close your eyes for 30 seconds and you think about what is the most important thing in your lives. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming today to an uh, afternoon seminar that is not obligatory, as far as I know, in your course. And it's a very good sign that there are so many young people that are interested in CSR and want to listen to this. And as I think has been made clear today, if it wasn't already before, that Corporate social responsibility touches everyone's lives. It is not something that goes on in, in Sweden or in Cambodia or anywhere else. It's part of our, us, a part of all of our planet. And it's, it's, it's quite easy. And after, after watching the movie, you, you ask yourself, when you're done with your studies, what type of company would you like to work for? Would you want to work for a company that treats employees fairly, that respects the local community and preserves the environment? Or would you be happy, even for more money, to work for a company that has unsafe facilities or that produces toxic smoke that makes people in the neighborhood sick? It's all about, as you know, corporate social responsibility. Uh, up until now, we have uh, had a number of seminars, which has mainly been an interaction with the Serbian business community. And uh, now we bring it to a different level, because uh, earlier today, uh, we had a very interesting uh, seminar at the economic faculty, uh, a lot of students to have a discussion about this issue. Which uh, we have heard about, but we don't, are they here? <laughs> and you know, this is just such a, 
uh, renovation every time I come to a, a residence to say that I, I always wondered where if that painting really existed. I don't know. It's, it's, it's here. Uh, and uh, we had, a, as you said, a very, a very fruitful afternoon. And uh, the uh, the question that I often receive when I go abroad is, uh, what's the role of the government? And I, I wanted to <coughs> make this very short and succinct because I know you're all hungry and. Uh, um, because corporate social responsibility is called corporate, it's not called ministerial social responsibility. <laughs> I'll tell you a short secret about how to make a fortune when you invest. And basically, you do that by investing in quality of the management in the companies. The same goes for the government. So you look at the, what is the quality of the government. And as investors, we are looking for stability. It's a key element for investments, it's stability over a period of time. Stability means that the company is operating in an environment that is predictable from an investment point of view. Laws and regulations need to be predictable. We need to be safe and sure that the companies and the governments are cooperating with each other on the same level. We need to have a clue about how new regulations, potentially new regulations can impact companies. And we need to be sure about the rule of law. <laughs>